according to the cloud, it's recording and now sharing my screen. Okay, uh, share. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, is it recording? Yes, it is. Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Weekly Infrastructure Meeting. We are the 8th of March. 2022. Uh, today we have Mark Waite, Stefan Merl, Hervé Lemeur, and Haïda Du Portal. Let's start with the announcements. We have a new weekly release, as far as I know, like every week. <laughs> it's been the fourth release, at least without an issue on the release process. So congratulations, folks. Our process is again acting normally. <laughs> Which is, which is a positive thing. Um, I don't have other announcements. Does anyone? Uh, so we've got upcoming, upcoming LTS tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah. 2.332.1 LTS releases tomorrow with major with significant improvements to the UI. That's a good uh, news for the users. <laughs> uh -huh, it is. OK, hopefully we didn't plan anything EV tomorrow. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that would be that would not be a good thing because yeah. <laughs> we've spent we spent months preparing for tomorrow. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what did I miss to forget about that. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. No problem. That, that says it's working smoothly. That's great. <laughs> um, maybe it will be, can the four of us uh, make the effort for the next LTS in six, eight weeks? I don't remember exactly. Four. Four weeks. Gosh. Four weeks. Ah, every month? Um, no. It, it happens every month, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm mad at the name LTS, but that's another discussion. <laughs> no, no, the, the LTS baseline is established every three months and the LTS.1.2.3, four weeks from now, it'll be okay. Dot two, right? Okay. Eight okay. weeks from now, dot three, 12, 12 weeks from now, it'll be a new dot one. Okay, so it's okay. Uh, so it, just to see, is there a calendar of these releases or any- There is, the Jenkins calendar has those on it. Okay, so Hervé. Hervé and I, uh, Stefan and I, we have to add this calendar to our own calendars to not forget <laughs> Im team improvement. <laughs> Thanks, Mark, for the pointers. <laughs> uh, are there other announcements then? So that LTS announcement says, tomorrow until the LTS is released, we don't deploy on in production. <laughs> at least not something on the uh, prod public gates cluster. Great. As far as I know, and we don't deploy something on Puppet as well because that could impact trusted CI, which would then be able to release the Docker images mm -hmm. because right now right. this is the instance in charge of this one. Okay. Um, with the release of uh, release driver tomorrow, is it Cathy? It is Cathy so, Chan. Okay. Um, Hervé or Stefan, if you are interested to join the release process, we can ask Cathy if it's okay to have you as shadow. Uh, usually there is that uh, big Zoom meeting on the end of afternoon in Europe for us, uh, where that's, uh, we have sometimes someone from security team, someone not, but having someone from infrastructure is always a a peace of mind for the person in charge of the release because we are there if something goes wrong. So you don't have to be available nonstop, but if you want to shadow, if you are interested in discovering, it's open, just let me know, but it's not mandatory again. Okay? okay, let's start with the notes, unless there is something else. One, two, three, no. okay. Uh, Hervé, you had the proposal or at least a draft of proposal to help us having better actionables for that meeting. Uh, could you explain that at least to Mark that wasn't there yesterday when we shared that? Uh... Yeah, so um, I've created a milestone in the help desk repository. 
can you click on? Yep, I'm opening right now. Milestones. Infra team sync. Uh, so when? Yep. Can you get out this text? I'm sharing. I'm splitting screen. So um, I think it can be a good way to gather the different issue or subject we are currently uh, uh, progressing on or uh, want to speak about uh, in this meeting note. So um, I started with the, this week uh, this week with this uh, milestone. Uh, and now when I'm uh, when we are working on an issue, I'm adding it uh, to this milestone, and mm -hmm. I have also added it to the milestone to the meeting note. So uh, we have an easy way to look at them uh, when we are preparing the note. That sounds um, great. Yeah. So so these are these are topics for discussion in the infra team sync for that day and and then their status is tracked as well yes now will will there be a i assume we close milestones even this if all the issues on them are not closed or how did how will that work in this terms of to be defined i don't know yet how i'm not sure we i, I don't know okay the there is a paragraph about it uh, below, uh, Damien. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. About the milestone. Right. Where is it? I don't see. Uh, you. Below, 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 below. Below. Oh, okay. Yes, this one. Uh, not this one. No. no, not this one. Don't. Which one then? Just above the so one you line okay. eighty nine. Hervey, you're sharing your screen and you <laughs> drive this. <laughs> I need your help. You have to explain it to us. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry I, I for don't that. Have a little, uh, much more to add. Uh, it's limited uh, as we can only link issue from one repository at once. We can't uh, link uh, issue or pull request from other repository. So it implies to create an issue in Ablesk if we, if we want to track it that way. It's not mandatory, but. Uh... Uh, I would argue that it, it will be a good thing to create one Ablesk issue for top level items. Mm. Because right. it allows us to share the state of our work. Not only we have the new triage, but we will have the top level items that we do. And then we can link to other issues. That could be in the form of migrating an existing issue on one of our repositories, moving it to Eldesk yeah. and starting tracking it if it's enough to be a top level item, right? Is it, is it technically possible to move issues across repositories? It's possible, but we are losing all the, uh, their link. Uh, it can break the link. Okay, so better to create an help desk on the one-on-one. Yeah. On one. Okay. Like, uh, like one. yes, it has been done uh, for um, separating uh, the full script of an infra report was an issue in uh, in the infra report repository, and you created another one in help desk. I've added on the help desk one a link to the infra report one that we create one issue on LDesk per top level. Okay, um, just to be sure I understood correctly, the milestone that is existing today, the slash free, was for the week that, for the iteration that ends with that meeting. Is that correct? Or yes. will it be for the upcoming? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, so can... after this meeting, I'll. I'll create another one for the week okay. to come. If it's okay, so I'm creating one now, just to be sure that I understand. The goal by creating a new one is to support to 
that we have all we add all the topics we need either not done from last week or the new topics and we add them yep. right now that will be uh, complementary to the meeting notes sounds yep. good for you yeah it was i think i was thinking putting the uh enclosed uh, issue we have this week to the next okay. one okay so i'm taking back thanks for for helping i'm taking back the screen so let's start by creating a new milestone i think you might use it uh use some other uh, milestone for doc issues or governance meeting i don't know could help but yeah yeah we will see uh, already in afra if it's uh, okay. of any use Cool. So if it's okay for you, I will want to try the following. Let me know if it's what you had in mind, uh, because I'm not sure that I understood everything on the way you will want. Maybe not everything is defined. So first of all, I would like to check on the previous milestone, the work that has been done by the team. I might have forgotten to add some issues, but these yeah. one, two, three, four, five top level items should be what we did or finish during the previous. So that's the yeah. first step of what did we do so we can see our progress all together. I will did it milestone to add uh, the next and the previous milestone on each of them. I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm um, not sure. Uh, uh, you spoke about uh, Passing the issue from one milestone to one, one other. No, right now I'm saying let's check the closed issues that I've shown on my screen. Okay, to you see want what to... did we? Yeah, uh, I've put them in the notes, so uh, I don't. I'm not sure it's a good. Uh, I'm not sure it's a way to list and review the issue we've done. I, I'm, I don't know. Uh, uh, for this week, I've put all of these issues in this in the meeting that you have on the right. So there is no. Okay, so let's start with infra CI con trigger that are not working that were rare, that were weren't working. Let's take the subject and let's try because I think it's not clear for you. So you, I need you no, on the CRV, a... to prepare yourself for next week and to explain to us how we should. Because I, I, I don't am, know, we are trying I don't know. now. So okay. I, I I never intended to list to watch the list during our meeting notes. It was only to prepare the meeting notes. I okay, that's why I need you to explain it. To, in the, yeah, it, what because I've I don't done just now. <laughs> but uh, sorry. Okay, uh, okay. So you need to prepare what you want to say to us. What you want yes. us to try it's because I don't I understand. It's I'm sorry. I tried here. And then when you started listing the issue on the left, I said, yeah, no, please don't do that. I've prepared the notes with all this issue. I prefer not to look at this list right now because I don't know yet how to use it for this week meeting. OK. Maybe Fair. later, but right now, I was I didn't plan to. And I tried to explain what I thought, but yeah, I didn't think about any everything. Like you were, you wanted to look at this list right now. I didn't plan you were, you will have uh, put this on the meeting. So I can, yeah, I prepared okay. uh, what I thought I had to prepare and it's not complete. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't. Okay. Um, so I understand we use the meeting it's notes you, this week. Yeah. yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Sorry. OK, no problem. What's the actionable of the subject of milestone? Is there something that we, sh that we not you, that we, Mark, no. team? No, it was at the bottom of the list because it wasn't really the most important thing to speak about, but yeah. That's no, important no because it's around how do we work as a team. So don't worry about that, OK? There is no problem to have taken. So OK, so let's say to do Hervé. <laughs> so
So let's start the topics then. Let's switch to the next topic. So uh, infra CI cron triggers, uh, fixed. It's not a weekly issue. At the moment on time, two weeks ago, one of the plugins on the plugin suite changed the behavior uh, of the pipeline when the pipeline defined a trigger, a collection of triggers, and it called a library that also redefined the triggers. Before, both were merged. Now, the second overrides the first. And one of our library, the one we use for update CLI, had a wrong logic that was, if you provide that attribute with a cron trigger expression, then define the new cron trigger. Otherwise, empty list. So what happened is at the moment on time, the empty list was overriding instead of being merged, meaning we keep the existing one. That's what, what was disabling. Um, Jesse Glick uh, and also at least Daniel explained us uh, deep dive why it's not a good idea, uh, technically speaking. So now we understand what happened technically. And uh, we have a short term fix that allowed the Kubernetes management to run as it was during the past year since a few days. So that part it's fixed and we can operate again at full speed. Medium term is there is a pull request that has been merged one hour ago on the pipeline library that takes care of trying not to merge just in case we still have one other jobs without the hack. Long term proposal from Hervé to migrate all the update CLI pipelines on their own multi-branch projects, eventually using a marker file. And we define one pipeline that will have the same behavior for everyone run once per day or eventually once weekly, but that's all. Um, that will allow us to simplify our pipeline. We will remove all the update CLI logic. Um, and that, that was the issue. So thanks for everyone involved in that part. Now we are able to continue working. Is there any question on that topic? Okay. No, thanks very much for your investigation. Sorry for the pain. <laughs> Yeah, that's, let's say, user experience with pipeline. That's, that's uh, another topic outside our scope. Um, Azure portal management. So with the changes uh, we did last week about MA, uh, enforcing MFA for everyone on Azure, um, team underlined that there is a one click button, there is one setting somewhere. So we could try next week that topic. Uh, now that we know that everyone is able and the, the uh, but the thing is we have specific settings that was trying to enforce certain set security settings that are defined we have to disable that policy before using the one click button but that could be a good thing that would should change a no-brainer and we wouldn't have to think about new incoming user in the future uh, so i propose uh, Unless someone wants to take it, I want to take it before end of week. Is there anyone else interested? Okay. Um, Nginx and Ingress Cert Manager upgrade uh, done this morning. Uh, the goal was to update. There were a lot of breaking changes on Cert Manager. Uh, the goal was to, to have it uh, in production. So everything went fine on that area of Kubernetes. Uh, we had the status Jenkins I updated this morning, one hour before starting the operation and updated at noon. Uh, I don't have anything else. That's a regular operation and it worked uh, well. So any, any crucial things in the cert manager update that you need to share with us? If it had several, but no surprise as you made the upgrade? Uh, yes, based on the change log, there were some change on the way set manager used the HTTP 01 uh, challenges, but we are not using HTTP 01 challenge on Kubernetes set manager. So I thought that one could be sensitive, but sounds like it's okay. We might have to monitor in the upcoming weeks the certificate renewal, but all the services on Kubernetes are monitored, so we, sh we should have alerts. There should not be bad surprise. However, uh, that one is on me. Um, Grafana pods uh, was stuck in three days. And by checking, 
uh, we had a credential that was not expired, but deleted from Azure. So the worker nodes on prod publicates weren't able to mount volumes because they didn't have the service principle to authenticate against Azure API. Uh, I was a bit too much uh, aggressive on cleaning up the dead service uh, principles last week. Uh, that one was one that was noted, so we have to be careful. Uh, it was one of the, uh, without at least two, two years without any activity while it was, it was active. I don't know why, so we will have to check next time. Uh, <laughs> so we have recreated one, there is the full procedure and we added the expiration of that token on the calendar because the current one was due to expire in two weeks based on the form note I had and there wasn't anything on the calendar. So at least we should be not beaten next year by that. Oh. Um, we put some details and Hervé was present during, so I'm not bus factor. So that should be good enough. So uh, I'm not the only one having that knowledge for the future. Thanks Hervé for the support on that one. Uh, what about infra report, Hervé? Um, so the, uh, the, infra rep uh, the, um, the infra report repository contains uh, four scripts uh, reporting different stuff. And one of his report was about uh, uh, Jenkins key repositories, um, collaborators and uh, write on their repositories. But since uh, December uh, 2021, uh, the GitHub bot user uh, of this script has uh, his permission downgraded, so he couldn't access every repository, and the report was incomplete. It has been um, it had been uh, noted by uh, Raoul uh, in uh, an help desk issue. And uh, to resolve it, I had to update uh, the script to to ge to generate uh, an access token from uh, for a GitHub app instead of a uh, user uh, using uh, the GitHub app uh, private key private key and uh, app identifier. Um, See, I've, we added uh, a GitHub app uh, and installed it and asked for its installation on uh, Jen the Jenkins key organization um, with uh, metadata read only as the only uh, permission needed. Um, the report is now complete. On, uh, I have I had uh, to implement a mechanism to generate uh, a new token every every once in a while since uh, GitHub app access token can expire uh, after uh, one hour and the script is taking more than one hour it takes around uh, two and a half uh, hour. Uh, I was in the process of creating a shared pipeline to get uh, this kind of access token. But Tim mentioned us uh, a way to uh, to doing it, uh, which is already integrated in the GitHub kernel shop plugin. So good news. And we will be able to replace um, the kernel shell used uh, in several places like a bit.ly or the fox repository of uh, fox reports of the same uh, repository by uh, by this mechanism to get an uh, access token from the github app so we'll be able to decommission the github uh, user, but just, user. Yep. that is awesome i we didn't know that it's that it was already existing since uh, 2020 but that that's really cool uh, the plugin takes care of the logic behind. So that's also an important topic, not only for us to avoid so user as every said, but also thinking about the CD for the plugins. Because that one, one of the reasons why GitHub Action is used for the CD 
it's because <clears throat> the, that credential was problematic for the automatic part in charge of pushing the artifact. Oh, sorry, uh, the automatic part in charge of creating the releases inside GitHub because you need to use the GitHub API for that. Uh, but at least for us, that's a very nice one. Th thanks for the, the job on that part, Hervé, because you had the <laughs> renew in real time every less than one hour, the token is still really useful for such scripts. Um, about mm. that, there is, yep, sorry. There is two subtasks, two, two different tasks uh, on the report to do. Um, mm -hmm. Separating uh, the pipeline running the four scripts at once in uh, four different pipelines. Uh, this work will be beneficial for separating uh, the whole main work uh, or mono pipeline uh, uh, doing the main work and also the maintenance task like uh, update manifest and so on. So we'll be able to separate uh, these uh, in their own pipeline and the credential too. And uh, so all of these scripts and uh, steps won't be able to see other credential. And it will allow us also to tune the current period or resources or even uh, we talked about uh, putting updately tasks uh, on their own uh, Jenkins instance, but we don't have uh, any more for now. <laughs> Let's start fighting and... with job DSL first on, uh, on Infra CI and then <laughs> we'll see. And we also have to move uh, this service from trusted to Infrasi. So we'll be able to tune even more uh, the trusted uh, resources needed since these scripts take these scripts takes some time in resources. Thanks a lot, Harvey, for that one. Is there any question or points to add on that area? Nope. Um, a word about GFrog incident. So Friday, we started to eat the infamous no space left on device on the GFrog managed instance on their SaaS system. Uh, Daniel uh, and Gavin fighted with that. Daniel was able to purge some cache, at least 100 of gigabytes, that allowed the service to be back again. Uh, the exchange with GFrog was delayed, uh, but we had useful information on where you, we can check the size of each of our repositories. Um, for information, Daniel has started to apply some new rules because when that instance, one of the repositories in that, inside that instance is used as caching. So as you know, some developer might complain that their local Maven builds clean whatever doesn't work as expected. In that case, they have to fix the Maven configuration. So that's only certain artifact ID and group ID are used and cached inside the repository, only the one from Jenkins CI. Because there are some binaries non-related to the project, but there are transitive dependencies of this developer or worse uh, from another project <laughs> the, that they own on a machine that are consuming a lot of uh, things. Another note for us on infrastructure, when there is a deletion of artifact on their service, they have a, they have a garbage collecting system that runs every two hours or four hours, I don't remember. And it has to run at least six times before the full garbage, garbage collect. So the light garbage collect every two hours is a, a, a procedure inside the web service. And the full garbage garbage collect is a snapshot cleanup at the file system level on the whole. So we have some cleanup to do. Thanks, Daniel, for all the work you did. Um, that uh, that was an opportunity to add a Gavin on the list of person that are able to merge and status Jenkins IO. Because thanks, Gavin, for also pre sending information to the user in that area. Um, and also, we are waiting for GFrog for two topics now. The four of us, and also Tim, Gavin, and Daniel, and Vadek, 
should be now allowed to open issue by email to GFROC support, not only Mark and I. Uh, they should be recognized because Gavin sent them an email and wasn't recognized, so they weren't able to discover which uh, which instance, what is the DNS, and their world support uh, standard process. Second, we are waiting for them to check what is the file system limit and to check if they can increase it, at least adding one terabyte more. We are at 5.6, adding one should be okay, given the cleanup procedure we are also doing on our side. Uh, since Monday, the deployment and release are okay again, but as Jesse Glick noted yesterday, the service was slow. Uh, we didn't hear anything from GFROG on that area. Uh, that could be either the file system, when the file system is more than 80%. Most of the time, the whole uh, blocks device is going really slow. But that's also another coin in the machine of, we might want to have a caching proxy on our infrastructure reusing what was done two or three years ago, because that kind of issue will be completely hidden because we will use our cache instead. Thanks, Jesse, for noting that. Uh, some comments and information has been added uh, on the associated help desk issue. Are there any questions? Anything unclear or something to add on that topic? So nothing expected from us except uh, uh, trying to find the time to restart the project of the local proxy cache and uh, watching for GFROG answers. A word about Fastly purge request. Uh, so if I understand correctly, Harvey, stop me if it's if I'm saying something bad. Uh, there has been a request from security team uh, around the fact that anyone was able to purge the Fastly cache publicly with the correct curl without any authentication. That's a feature of Fastly enabled by default. Um, yep. Yes. The original security issue uh, was uh, worried uh, anyone could uh, uh, purge cache for uh, Jenkins.io or PluginSite.io, but it's not the entire sit website which is purged. It's only the individual uh, URL. So it's not. Uh, I'd, uh, we didn't get a definitive answer from security team, but uh, it's not as uh, worrying as uh, it might have been. Um, the, uh, so we, yeah, we, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, we should restrict, uh, the individual URL purge. Okay. Are, are you Since okay to, to ask, uh, one more time on the security private issue, uh, mm -hmm. both, uh, both Vadek and Daniel, Daniel as the requester and Vadek as the security officer? just give them back that context again and tell them, okay, we want to uh, rework that because it's causing issues, uh, let's say operability issues uh, for Tim, Gavin, you, I, Stefan, and ask them their advice. And then depending on their answer, we keep the current uh, restricted process and sadly for, for Tim and Gavin request, or we can roll back and everyone is happy. Sounds good to you? Thanks. Are there any, any, any question or things to add on that topic? Nope. Um, thanks, Hervé, for the implementation of issue similarities. Uh, that's a GitHub action, if I understand correctly, that run when someone opens an LBSC issue that holding the user to similar uh, issues based on a text research algorithm. Uh, the idea is to try it's not definitive as always, but uh, we hope that it could be useful to an user to find topics that should be the same with the same answer. Um, Stefan, on your own, uh, could you just give, give us a break, uh, break uh, sorry, 
I need a break. Uh, could you give uh, us, uh, could you share uh, the status of your main tasks? I, uh, I remember that you opened an issue on update CLI to allow us. Uh, I'm sorry, it's written on that document, but it's completely uh, below. I, I didn't mix up with the presentation, but yes, I tried to um, change a little update CLI for, uh, for it to be, um, more useful for us to handle uh, a matching pattern in reg apps and to use it for our uh, updating process and checking if uh, if some uh, security groups have changed for example mm -hmm. and uh, i did i did uh, submit the pull, the pull request I also did uh, submit a pull request for the documentation. Uh, I may have to uh, uh, show and, and change a little some uh, some information, like the different uh, value of the the optional parameters. But uh, I think it have been uh, merged. Okay, so we have to wait for. Um... I think Olivier did move. Wait for a release. Um, so your design volunteer to track the update CLI once it's released, update CLI update on our Docker images so you can use it. Can you remind us what, what is the high level task? What what are we doing this for? Oh, it's uh, the, the main task is to uh, um, follow, uh, um, update the uh, security group from uh, AWS and to match them in uh, Paker, I think. Oh yeah, okay, okay. And that's the first one. The the second one, I got two issue that need uh, that uh, uh, particular uh, behavior from Updately. Uh, the second one is uh, depending on something that Hervé did. If I remember correctly, it's probably because of digital ocean or something. I'm sorry, it's, I didn't uh, warm up my uh, main goal for that. Okay. And right now I'm working on the uh, garbage collector for Azure, but it's brand new, it's took from today. Okay. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark has to leave, I assume. So oh, at the, at the, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we are on eleven minutes past the end of the meeting, so I'm gonna stop recording, and the delayed issue will be delayed once more. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, let me stop the recording. Et voilà. C'est coupé le paragraphe sur les issues similaires. Get recording. Quoi Il est où Ah oui, il est là. T'as fait couper T'as fait couper Tu as dit bon, Stéphane, qu'est-ce que tu fais maintenant Still recording. Ok, les gars, j'ai besoin d'aide pour les notes, hein, parce que... Still recording. <rire> still recording Excuse-moi, du coup... Euh... Sorry, sorry, still recording. We'll have to... Euh...